Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of rotating a connex section to plot it. Let's consider 3x squared plus 2xy plus 3y squared is equal to 16. This is a conic section, we want to classify this conic section and plot it. Classify and plot the conic section. Okay. And so the idea is to write the principal quadratic part as a quadratic form. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this over here and we're going to write 3x squared plus 2xy plus 3y squared as xy, and then the symmetric matrix 3, 1, 1, 3, because wherever there's a 2 here, so the 3, this 3, let's, let's sort of plot where these things come from. So this 3 over here is right over here. And then this 2 gets split into two parts. So the 2 gets split into the 1 and the 1. And then finally, this 3 over here goes over there, right? So that's the component part. So if I change these numbers to like a 3 and a 4, there'd be a 4 over here, right? All right, excellent. And then we're going to have an x times y. Okay. And now the idea is to diagonalize this inner matrix over here. So the inner matrix is symmetric, so we're going to diagonalize... The matrix 3, 1, 1, 3. Okay? So let's so the eigenvalues. We're going to set the determinant of 3 minus lambda, and then a 1, and then a 1, and then a 3 minus lambda. Set this determinant equal to 0. And we're going to get from this 3 minus lambda quantity squared is equal to 1. So lambda is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 1, which is 1. So we have a 4 and a 2, right? So let's look at lambda is equal to 4 first. So when lambda is equal to 4, what are we going to get? We're going to look at the augmented matrix, a negative 1, a 1, a 1, and then a negative 1. 0, 0. And we can generate an eigenvector from this. I'm going to normalize it immediately, because I know from the theory, theory of symmetric matrices that they're going to have orthogonal eigenvectors. That's my eigenvector over there for the case when we're at lambda equals 4. When lambda is equal to 2, What's going to happen? When lambda is 2, we're going to have a 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, augment with zeros. And that will give me a, now I'll do a negative 1 over root 2 to give pure rotation, and then a 1 over root 2, like that. Okay, great. All right, now, of course, the key feature of this is that we have two positive eigenvalues, right? So lambda 1 and lambda 2 greater than 0 means that we're going to get an ellipse. Our conic section is an ellipse, okay? Excellent. All right, so now let's form, the, well, let's form the structure over here. So we're going to write down one sort of long step, then we'll simplify it, right? So actually our equation is really 16 is equal to what? 16 is equal to x times y, that xy, not x times y, that's a vector, two-dimensional vector. This is a one row by two column vector with an x and a y. And then we're going to do the p, which is the diagonalized matrix. So I'm going to have one over root two, one over root two, then a negative one over root two, then a 1 over root 2, a 1 over root 2. Our diagonal matrix D, which is going to be a 4, 0, 0, 2. And then we're going to have the inverse of this matrix, which is going to be the transpose. So 1 over root 2, negative 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2. And then the vector xy. Okay, excellent. So that's our equation. You might say, why on earth do we do something so complicated over here? This is a 2 by 2, this is a 2 by 2, this is a 2 by 2, and this is a 2 by 1. So the ultimate result is going to be a 1 by 1, which is the number 16 over here. Great. All right, so now let's call this matrix over here. I'm going to call this matrix over here R because this is really a rotation matrix, and this is R transpose, and R transpose is R inverse because it's an orthogonal matrix, okay? And so now the key feature over here is we really have what I'm going to define now, define... X, transpose, x prime y prime to be what? To be our perp of, uh, excuse me, our transpose, that's a transpose, not perp, transpose, transpose. Our transpose of what? Of x times y, which is equivalent to saying that x times y is equal to r x prime, y prime. So, in other words, this R is a change of basis matrix. I've just changed the basis from just the x, y plane to a 45 degree tilt of the x, y plane. Okay, so it's a change of basis matrix. Change of basis. Okay, excellent. All right, and so now what do we have? So, of course, this is really what over here? This is really going to be just 
R, this thing over here, I could write this as R transpose, R transpose, and then XY transpose, XY transpose, because of course R perp of XY, XY. Transpose, transpose. Okay, now put me back into the right order, right? Because the transpose of this will be x, y, and then r over here. And then times what? And then times a four, zero, zero, two. And then an r, r, wait, 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 r transpose, and then x, y. Okay, and so everywhere, what do I have over here? So I have x, y, so this is going to be what? This is going to be x prime y prime, when we do the calculation, and then times 4, 0, 0, 2. This is all equal to 16, of course, right? 16, 16, and then what? And then times an x prime, y prime, like that. Excellent. And so our equation now is what? This turns into, if we calculate this, this turns into 16 is equal to 4x prime quantity squared plus 2y prime quantity squared. If we divide, we have x prime over what? x prime squared over 4, and then plus y prime squared over 8, like that, is equal to 1. Great. And so now what we see over here, so now this of course is a rotated ellipse, so if we plot this rotated ellipse, what we see, we're going to get a graph that looks like this. There's the x-axis, there's the y-axis, there's x and there's y, and then here's the 45 degree, new, there's my new axis. And so those eigenvectors are the length of the major and minor axis respectively, right? And we're going to have an ellipse that looks like this. Just like that. Okay, so in other words, this is just a perfectly rotated ellipse, and so I see that these are my, so the major axis and the minor axis of this ellipse are exactly just the eigendirections, are just the eigenvector directions that come from the diagonalization procedure. Thank you very much.